Hi everyone and welcome to our state vineyard. My name is Anna Diogo Draper and I am the winemaker for Artessa Winery. I just wanted to share a little more with you guys our history uh, about the winery and the amazing family that um, that created us. The Gordon Uraventos family, known for their legacy of innovation, decided to come go outside of Spain and what better place to come than come to Napa Valley and the Carneros Napa Valley of VA had just been created and so they uh, built the winery and um, uh, planted the vineyard and uh, created a really, really unique site. Artesa, it's very interesting, in Spanish means artisanal and it really shows our devotion and our approach to winemaking to really make this beautiful and crafted wine. Um, and then to talk a, a little more about the vineyards, because that's where everything starts and it's the core of our business, we have Jesus Hernandez here and he's our uh, vineyard manager. Jesus, to you. Hello, everyone. Um, so as Anna was mentioning, uh, we are uh, definitely uh, steeped in history here, but also what is um, very unique to the property is that we're at the base of the Mayacamas range. We, um, so that puts us at the northern end of the Carneros region. So here at the estate, we benefit from multiple factors. And one of those is the cool climate in Carneros, which is very significant um, compared to San Lina, for instance. We are generally 10 degrees cooler. One of the other factors is the soils and the location. Um, we have vineyards at 100 foot level to 500 foot level. And then also the farming. The farming is tailored to meet all those different challenges. And plus, we are Napa Green and uh, Napa Green, Napa Land certified. So, all these factors contribute to who we are here at the estate in Carneros. Hi, everyone. Uh, we're back at the winery and we're here to taste our 2013 Carneros Chardonnay. Uh, 2013 was a great growing season from bud break right up to harvest, um, very moderate, um, warm days. So, really, we have the hanging time of the fruit, which is what we really want to strive for Chardonnay gets great fruit profile, wonderful and balanced acidity, and it kind of marries together and produces this amazing Chardonnay. About 50% of the grapes that are used for our 13 Carnero Chardonnay are sourced out of our estate, and the remaining 50, we work very closely uh, with growers. We have long-term relationships with them, and we work um, closely with them, or Jesus does, um, to source the highest quality fruit possible, and he's going to talk a little bit more about it. No, we, we do work with them. They <laughs> come with me many times to the vineyard and we oversee the farming um, taking place with these long-term growers. Uh, we definitely um, instill our farming beliefs, ideology with our growers and we build these relationships so that we can get the best fruit possible and you'll definitely be able to taste this in the wine. Absolutely. I'm going to start in tasting the wine. Um, when we smell it, I could get really intense aromatics, it's really elegant, um, fruit-driven Chardonnay, and that's really what we strive for, is to do an elegant, through the Carneros, a lot of minerality, a little bit of stone fruit, but also the very um, delicate citrus profile that you find so many times in a Carnero Chardonnay, but I feel in our Tessa that's really um, brought up and really kind of exponential almost. What are you getting here, Izzy? You know, uh, I enjoy hiking a lot, so many times in my hikes, the Manzanita, when it's blooming, I get hints of that blooming oh, Manzanita. It's yeah. very, very, very fresh. bright, very yeah. fresh. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a really interesting one. And the freshness, it's pretty remarkable. It does continue to carry through the mouthfeel. Absolutely um, refreshing, very mineral. The minerality that I really believe a lot of it comes from our state vineyard. Um, our high elevation gives us a beautiful concentration in minerality. Um, the fruit also explodes. And then in the background, you just, just in the background, you get a little bit of the oak, but I love that the oak is just not overpowering the wine. You can really taste what um, Chardonnay tastes like. And it's, it's just a really elegant, very fruit friendly, easy to drink wine, really approachable. and. Um, if you're a Chardonnay lover, you love it, and if you're not, you love it too. <laughs> and now we're going to jump right into um, into the Pinot Noir. So this is also our 2013 Carneros Pinot Noir, so same vintage, that's what I meant. Um, and again, great vintage, really good for Pinot Noir. The fact that it was um, a very even season really allowed us for a hanging time in the vineyard, which is so, so important for Pinot Noir. 
About here we have more from our state, about 75%. Pinot Noir of our state, absolutely incredible, high elevation, small clusters, very elegant, but with great intensity. Uh, we work with, uh, closely with some growers, long-term relationships to source the fruit. But in this case, our Pinot, it's about 75% out of our state for the 13 vintage. Um, and it's, it's such a true reflection of a Carneros Pinot Noir, really elegant wine. Um, you get a lot of the rose petal that is so, so, to me, um, very characteristic of a, a Carneros Pinot. Um, in Artesa, what does distinguish Artesa's Carneros Pinot Noir from all the others? Well, our vineyard sourcing, for, for, for first and foremost, our high, high elevation blocks, we get able to obtain small clusters, very concentrated fruit, and um, I always like to mention it is 100% Pinot Noir, so true, true varietal, um, just very elegant but with a lot of power. It ages for about nine months in French oak, 30% new oak, and the oak shows in the back, I think in the background, again, we really want the fruit to be in the forefront of the wine. Um, what are you getting here, Lizzie? A lot of deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely get a lot of red fruit, really bright, um, very delicate. I, I, I'm always, uh, I always like to say, don't be afraid that Pinot is Pinot. Pinot is not supposed to be a Cabernet. Pinot is supposed to be Pinot. So you want it to be delicate, but I also love the concentration that we're able to obtain um, out of these grapes. Definitely agree. And then on the palate, it's just really bright, such a lively acidity. Um, and just that bright red fruit really carries through. Strawberry, kind of being cherry a little bit too. Um, just a little, really elegant wine, so food friendly. This wine will go with, I think, such a wide array of foods and um, perfect to drink, sip it while you cook and then enjoy it with your meal. So, um, cheers to you and come visit us at our Tesla, please. Salut. Cheers.